y'all, the finally gets me into. Look at this. Me being a, a good brother, I call him and say, hey, Home Depot's got a deal on some shrink wrap. You know, they shrink wrap all their games. They got a deal on some shrink wrap. You know what he tells me? You see the price right there. He tells me, buy them out. You want me to buy Home Depot out? Yep. Okay. I got the whole truck filled up. It's all the way to the damn ceiling. All of them I could get. All of them they had. Now he's going to the other Home Depot. He's going to try to buy them out. It's just absolutely absurd. But this stuff uh, usually costs us about uh, $20 a roll, and they got it on clearance for $6.90. And guess what? I had a 10% off coupon. So I said, I think I will. I normally don't even use coupons, but under the circumstances, I said, well, save my brother 10%, might as well. So I got it with um, basically free tax on it. So that made it pretty nice. But got a little load I wanted to show y'all. Uh, we'll show y'all a little more when we get, probably in the morning, when Ronnie gets there with his load. And we'll see just how many, who got the most. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. This um, this is nice stretchy screen crap. The trick to this stuff is it's got the handles made into the roll so you don't burn your fingers when you spin it out. If you're walking around that machine going around and around and around and around, you get dizzy, number one. And that thing's sliding on your hands. It wants to cut your hands. You gotta put gloves on or you gotta have you one of them little holders. I got one of them little holders, but we never use it because it's a pain in the butt to stick the roll on there and get it all lined up. Just simpler to run around it, but you get your hands all messed up. So I got, a, I got all this stuff. It's got the little handles made into it got a little spinner on the end and all and we might be able to take those things off and put them on new rolls when we buy new rolls but we probably ain't gonna buy no rolls for a while um i think i got i don't know maybe five or six of them in the truck here so i got a few rolls and uh ronnie's gonna go get some more we hope we hope we outdo ronnie now i might just run on down to the other home depot that's close to me and see if they got any just to uh, just see what I can do but the smart thing to do would probably be get online and type in that SKU number there and see who's got what and uh, you know if they only got a roll or two it ain't worth going after but if they got a couple hundred rolls might be worth going and getting a pilot and you know now that I got the forklift I can unload them with no problem I can just unload the whole pilot and uh, we got plenty of room to store it. So he take a case, you know, at a time and use it and come back and get another case and use it. They probably don't use a case a year. I got a case right here, you know. That'll probably last them a year anyway. But uh, hmm. they always tell me, you don't make no money when you sell it. You make your money when you buy it. So if you see a deal or an opportunity, as Ronnie calls it, jump on it just <clears throat> get it. If you get that opportunity, you'll make money in the, on down the road. Don't look at the day. If you got to look at the day, you ain't going to make no money. You ain't going to get no deals. If you can look six months ahead and see what's coming, that's when you're going to make your money. So don't try to make your money the same day. You, you can make very little money the same day flipping it like that. But if you buy that stuff and sit on it for six months, the right person will come along and he will need it, whatever you got, regardless what it is. He'll need it eventually. And when he or she gets there, you're gonna make your money. Buy low, sell low. I, no man Gene actually says, you buy high and you sell low. But I like doing it the opposite way. I like buying low and selling high. So what you got to do, you got to be ready to jump on it. I always walk around with at least $30 in my pocket. I got to have $30. I won't leave the house if I ain't got $30. And I won't go to the house if I ain't got $30. And 
if I ain't got $30 in my pocket, I am not going home. The old lady just be looking for me forever. Cause I got to get to the bank. I got to get me some dollars. And if I ain't got no dollars in the bank, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. I'm probably gonna have to go to, um, I don't know, the soup kitchen or something and go to go to washing dishes or something. But I got to have $30 in my pocket. If I ain't got no $30, I'm in trouble. So I guess I could sit in, sit in the house and wait on somebody to bring me some money or something, but that don't ever work. So I got to have some money. See, and them credit cards, they don't do nothing. You break down on the side of the road, what you gonna do? Slide, slide it through somebody's ass cheeks. I mean, you ain't got no way to damn buy nothing. You're stuck. You broke down, somebody comes and gives you a spare tire off their vehicle or something. You got to pay for it. You can't pay for it. Plastic ain't gonna get you there. Got to have money. So when you see the opportunity, you jump on it. Just jump and grab a hold. That's what it did. So, y'all, we'll get back to you when we get to the house here. Got the load these up before he figures out. That I didn't get any. I went to a, uh, he's in the other room. I went to a Home Depot and they had them on the shelf, but uh, they weren't on sale. But luckily, he's got a whole bunch of them right here. If I keep loading up a couple all day, he won't even notice. He don't, you know, he's busy doing other things. I'll just take a couple of these with me. But, do, 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 do. Hey, I'll be back in a minute. This is 28. Man, Donnie, we got to get some of this stuff cleaned up. Hey, look at these. This is like the old heat detector fire alarms that you wind up with a key. This was before they were battery operated or uh, power operated, or maybe after, maybe it was just a decision that company made, but we got to put them up. Why ain't we using them so we ain't gotta worry about that beep, beep, I know. beep stuff? I know, it messes about. us up. Hey, by the way, that shrink wrap that you got. Yeah, it's right over here. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I got a bunch of my car, my truck, we're going to uh, do a count off. I bet I ended up getting more of them no, than you did. No, hell no. There ain't no way. I bet I did. But we got to straighten some of this stuff up, Donnie. I got you some plumbing. A guy, the, these heat things, guess where I got those? No telling. A guy brought them in my shop and sold them to me. Literally brought them in in a bag and was like, hey, I got some plumbing supplies. It wasn't all this, just a couple things. I got some plumbing supplies, and then I got these I thought you might like, so I gave him $5. But it kind of looks like he just ripped them off the wall somewhere. Because, look, they've even got the screws left. Yeah, that, that ain't good. So if anybody is missing their electrical, or not even electrical, their spring, well, Donnie, now they're going to want us to set them off. We, we can't set them off. We don't, know how to, we don't really know how to wind them. It just, it, didn't it say something about a spring? Yeah, look, insert the key and wind by hand in direction of arrow only. You know what would have been smart? If the key would have been right there. Yeah, if like it was part of it, but that's on the wall, so. Yeah, but if you take, you they gotta take made that it. off. Hey, is that what that little front thing is? No. I don't know how that goes on. I couldn't figure it out. I've never seen these until he brought them in the store. But yesterday, I was at the flea market, and a guy had another one laying there. But I did not buy it because I got two, and I'm not even going to use them. Did he have the key? Nah, it was just something just like that laying there. It just looked like an old fire alarm. That, though. That looks neat. Look at that. That one moves. The rest of them don't. Huh. Oh, I wonder. Oh, when that pops off. That, that pulls the, yeah. the tension off the spring. And that makes it spin. So that's why that little thing's off of it. It's melted or something. There's probably some way that that holds on there. Maybe it just sticks on there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they work, but I've never seen those. But I guess that was probably in everything. I don't know. They don't look super old to me, but I, I would guess... 30s at the earliest, and that's probably too early, but 
70s at the latest. Probably 40s, 50s, or 60s. Oh, but damn, that one don't have it. The spring thing? That one don't have the spring thing on it. Yeah, I don't know. He brought them in. I, I wasn't really interested, but I wanted the plumbing stuff. <laughs> All right, we got to go do our uh, count off. Our count off. Here we go. I'm gonna beat Donnie once, finally, for the first time ever. Now Donnie used to cheat. We'd be playing checkers, and if he was losing, he'd knock the board over. How many did you say you had? Fifty six. Where are they at, Donnie? Over there. Oh, you put them over. Oh, I didn't see those over there. You know, I haven't been back here much today. Yeah, it looks like you got a deal on them. Yeah, I got this same deal at my Home Depot. Look, they used to be thirty seventy eight for three cents. Didn't I call you and tell you about these? Yes. Oh yeah. And uh, then uh, six ninety one cent each. I called you first though. Nah, I think I was calling no, you because I, I was so first. busy. I was there. I was I so busy it. picking them up at my you Home beat, Depot and putting beat. them in my in my truck. Nope, nope, All nope. right. So how many did you say you had? I got fifty six. One, two. Now, there ain't no way you got 56. I got video evidence that I got 56. I got 28 of them is how many I've got in my truck right now I can go show you. You don't have 56, Donnie. You can't count or something. You got 27. 27. Now, I've got 28. And 28 equals what? Well, when, once I get all these back to the shop, I will have 56 of them, but you're a little short. No. So I got 28, you got 27. Boy, I did pretty good. So I owe you for uh, 27 of them, and they were uh, $6.90 a piece. Okay, we'll figure that out. I appreciate no, no, it. No, 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 no. If we're buying 27, you're going to pay this number here. No, come on. <laughs> you know, I'm not, uh, I might have to just walk away from this deal. All right, well, there you go, folks. Uh, you might want to go to Home Depot and get the deal. I saw it first. Well, uh, does anybody want to buy some? Because Ronnie ain't wanting to get in on the deal. I'm not paying $30 for the ones that I bought myself at Home Depot for. Uh, no, hell. They, uh, they were like the $7 it. or $8, if yeah. I remember correctly. Look at that. What? Come on now. What? Why don't we got a whole wheelbarrow full of motor oil? We need motor oil. Okay, folks, so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You might want to run to Home Depot. I found this sale myself no, first. No, 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 I found it. I think... Look, y'all, it's 20 inches by 1,000 feet. Shrink wrap. Right there's the skew on it, if anybody wants to see the skew. There you go. Now, some Home Depots don't have it going on, but I got it uh, last week or two weeks ago? Last week? Mm-hmm. I got mine uh, three weeks ago. And then that's what I told you. At the Home Depot. Yeah. So go to the Home Depot, pick them up, get what you want. I don't know. Don't go to the one I went to because I ain't got no more. <laughs> and obviously, uh, I don't think Ronnie got any yet. So, y'all, if you like it, give us a thumbs up, film it, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.